been suspected to be kidnappers have adopted seven officers of the Nigerian Navy in the Edo State. It was gathered that the officers were ambushed and kidnapped along Saple Wari Road while traveling to Delta State from Kaduna State. The State Police Public Relations Officer SP Kutongs Bello confirmed the incident, saying the police were able to rescue five of them from the kidnappers. The PPRO, who was unable to give details of the incident, said the command was working hard to ensure the remaining officers were also rescued on halt. Nigeria is currently leaning under the grip of bandits and kidnappers, with several school abductions, particularly in the north, in the northern part of the country, and kidnappings for ransoms in the south. Several school children and travelers are currently in kidnappers' dens, as banditry is relatively becoming booming criminal business. The Boko Haram students have also routinely adopted personnel of the Nigerian military, especially personnel of the Operation Harden Care, who are involved in the counter-insurgency operation. Hmm. Oh my God, this is just the height of it all, you know. Our Nigerian uh, personnel are no longer regarded, you know. And all this is all this are caused because our governments are not doing the needful. You understand? How can one say this? It's just like what happened in um, home movie and all that. You say, ah, it cannot be real. But all these things is real. Life is happening. In, in Nigeria, you see where bandits, you know, adopt uh, Nigerian. Uh, army, police, and all that. Who does that? This is who, who, who does that? It can't happen anywhere apart from this country, Nigeria. This is the only place such thing happens. When bandits carry uh, sophisticated weapons, and the police is carrying what? What is it? What is it called? The Nigerian army carrying words. These people have cried that so many times. But it seems that the governments are not actually looking into all these things. Good news. This is what the unknown government should be doing and leave innocent civilians alone. They boasted that they are sending civilians to God to answer for their crimes. They forgot that God will answer call for them to bear witness to the crime. The blood of Igbos massacred by these heartless soldiers is crying for vengeance. And those, and this will go on and on until the case of their death is addressed. These are Nigerians reacting to this. Gumi should be contacted to facilitate their release immediately. For now, which other thing are we going to talk about apart from this bandit trick? Kidnapping people, kidnapping soldiers that are supposed to defend kidnapped people. So, well, how do we face this situation? Someone just dropped that. This is the kind of Olympic our government wants. They lack vision and have no business in youth development. The people they are using for politics are now turning against them. When injustice becomes law, Resistance becomes a duty. The security agencies should stop killing innocent Nigerians so they too, so they themselves too, can have peace. Hallelujah to that. The most important thing in this country now is to pass a bill that will permit everyone above 18 years to the right of armed possession. Imagine a country when gunmen can kidnap a force officer that can the common man then what can the common man do nigerian has failed in all ramifications both political 
and security welfare of our citizen. The only people who are still proud of Nigeria now is the illiterate in the northern part of this country. All right, someone said, this is good. Let them understand the language of the gunmen and the gunmen should stop kidnapping children. They should keep on kidnapping our security personnel as that we tell them how incompetent they are. The gunmen should also go after our politicians after they are, after all, they are the true problem we are facing in this country. This I pray, oh Lord. These people, okay, all right, someone said, these people have not seen anything. They will continue to kidnap and kill all of them because they refuse to do the needful. If the Nigerian government have improved whatever on this in, in, the, in, in the sight of the security men, I believe you want to say security operatives in Nigeria, they will not face all this kind of rubbish, honestly. This is the height of all. So guys, these are Nigerians' reactions to this. As you can see, Nigerians are not happy with the happenings in this country. You know, if gunmen can kidnap uh, personnel that are supposed to protect the common man out there in the street, so what do you expect? That means we are not safe. And that is just the, the truth. We are not safe in this country. Nobody is safe. Though. Nobody is safe. The rate of the happening, the, the rate of criminality, this banditry, Boko Haram or whatever, you know, these people have gone so, so far. It gets. But we don't know what our government is doing to make sure that they actually silent them because it seems that they are not even ready, you know, to, to stop all these activities until they have achieved their purpose. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Let's hear from you. What's your view on this new development of gunmen adopted seven Navy officer? Kindly Drop your view below the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.